What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video from the car. I'm in the car right now. I'm actually in the car by the truck right now. Actually landing in Orlando last night around 12 a.m. Yep, my flight delay, uh, I think two hours. I was supposed to land in Orlando uh, 10, like 10.05 or whatever the case may be. If Air Canada, every time I travel with Air Canada, it's always something. Either they don't have a gate or they have technical dif difficulties with the, uh, the, the plane or I don't know, maybe a, a, a flight, the, the plane I'm supposed to get on late to get to the terminal or whatever the case may be. But I'm in Orlando right now. Um, actually, I did a whole lot this morning. I've been up since about 8 o'clock this morning. Went to BJ's, uh, you know, get more regular stuff that I normally get before I go on the road. Um, actually, like I, like, like I said before, I've been home for about nine days now. I'm not leaving the house until tomorrow is Monday. Today's Sunday. I'm going to drop this video today. You know what I'm saying? But I'm actually... Um, I'm actually, man, where I was at with that? I got uh, confused looking at this this guy car right here. This boy got a nice car right here. He got some Dodge Charger. Nice, nice car. But um, I'm actually in my Challenger right now. I just paid this freaking car off. I just paid this shit off. Uh, I have a Dodge Challenger. You know what I mean? I'm going to post a picture. Let y'all see what it looked like. This is my baby right here. I want this car since 2017, man. And it's 2022 right now. I financed this car for four years. And I actually paid off in two and a half years. So that's a blessing right there. That tells y'all something. I've been busting my ass, you know, making the right moves that I'm supposed to make to put myself in a better, better position. And paying off this car going to put myself in a way better position than I, I am today. But... What I'm trying to say is this, man. Listen, we at the truck right now. I'm about to do my regular routine, cleaning the truck, clean the truck before I go on the road, whatever the case may be. I already went grocery shopping this morning. Uh, actually, just coming back from AutoZone, I got me some um, some air freshener right here, and I got me some grease. Even though I don't need it, but I always try to get you know keep grease on my truck or whatever the case may be. You know, so I have some grease and I also have some purple power. I got me some purple power right here to clean my um my panels on the truck or whatever the case may be. But I'm gonna give y'all a truck tour. So stay tuned for that. But I'm actually gonna do that today. I'm gonna drop this freaking video today. I ain't wasting no time when it comes to these videos. Thanks, thanks for 500 freaking subscribers, man. I've been uh, I've been on YouTube for about a year now, about a year now. So yeah, oh, uh, actually, about nine months, and I'm already at 500 subscribers. I appreciate all my supporters, man. If you make it to this far in the video and you're a new viewer, please imagine you like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. So I'm about to go in the truck right now. And um, I'm going to give y'all a truck tour right now. Like right now. We ain't wasting no time. We giving y'all right now. I'm posting this video actually later on today. I'm going to post this video. Because I think I have to go home and wash my mats. Or whatever the case may be. I have to wash my truck mats. And um, fold my clothes. And that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's about it. It's hot as hell in Orlando. It's about 101 fucking degrees. Sorry for the cursing, but I'm going to blow that out. But, yeah, man. Damn, it's actually kind of raining right now. But, yeah, man, like I was saying before, I just paid that bad boy off. We just paid off. And that is no cap. Now I have... uh three vehicles i have my challenger i still have my bmw that i haven't driven in uh two years is actually still in connecticut at my brother house 
I haven't drove that car in two years. And of course we have this beautiful freight liner right here. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna put this up in this truck real quick. And I'm actually gonna give y'all a tour right now. So I have this truck for about uh, almost a year now. The 9th of this month gonna be a year. 9th of August gonna be a year. So we got a 2022 Freightliner Cascadia. We currently sitting it at a sitting at a hundred and about seven thousand miles. When I got this truck, this truck only had 560, 565 miles on it, something like that, around that range. It wasn't a lot of miles, you know. Brand new freaking truck. But I'm gonna flip this camera and I'm gonna give y'all a tour. So right here, what you got, you know, your regular standard Freightliner steering wheel, you know, with a steering wheel cover right here, nice and comfortable. I think I bought this at a Pilot for about, I think about like 12 or $13, something like that. It wasn't a crazy bad number, whatever the case may be. But my truck is sitting at a hundred and eight thousand miles right now hundred and eight thousand six hundred thirty eight okay we're gonna start off with that you know standard freightliner nothing too fancy you know what i'm saying uh it's regular i need to put these stuff back up but we're gonna start off with the um the driver's side i ain't got nothing up here this right here where I put my sunglasses and stuff like that. Yes, I do got a CB radio, but I barely use it. I don't really use it, it depends, but it's always on, but I don't always be talking on it. I be listening for, you know, any traffic or whatever the case may be. We got some, you know, storage space up here. This is where I keep all my receipts and stuff like that. Little um, BOLs, um, envelopes up here. I have a lot of those. Raincoat, safety traffic jacket, and another raincoat over here. I think I got. I, I keep like my snacks and stuff over here, like little thumbs and stuff like that. In this storage unit, it's my coffee, my coffee maker right here. I got a blender. I got all this stuff from Amazon. Also, storage where I keep all my sugar, and my honey all my tea stuff snacks and stuff like that we keep that right there we got a microwave right here this is actually the walmart size microwave always make sure you keep your microwaves clean guys don't worry mine's is not that dirty but i'm gonna clean it out in a second we got a standard with microwave right here this microwave is about 30 dollars something like that I got my TV right here. This is a 32 inch TV. This is a Roku TV. You could get this from Walmart. It is mounted, you know, on this panel right here by the microwave. You could do that. A lot of people, I know a lot of people put it down there. I don't do that. I was trying to do that. It wasn't working out for me. Right here, we got an air blower right here. This is for like, Xbox, which I don't play. This is my Wi Fi box right here. I got this from Team Mobile. It's like $30 a month, whatever the case may be. Works just fine. You got storage right here. I got my, of course, dark dog bags. And uh, this is where I keep all my you know, wires and stuff, chargers, earpods, my laptop, which I do use when I'm on the road. I have a refrigerator right here. Uh, this is some of the stuff I do drink to stay in shape over the road. This is like a meal replacement right here. We got some naked smoothie and some coconut water. We do got some Gatorade and some eggs in there. Which I got three waters in the in the um, in the freezer. But I have my weights right here. This is what I work out with on the road. This is a 50 pound barbell. I keep that with me. Underworld while I work out. 
Uh, I have storage right here. This is like dog treats, uh, vitamins and stuff like that under here. Pre-workout, all that good stuff. We got a little tray right here where you can, you know, you can eat on this tray or whatever the case may be. Cut the vegetable fruits or whatever the case may be of your choice. This is my storage right here for the stuff I use on the road. Jackets and stuff like that. I have my stuff at the house. I gotta go, you know, get my stuff from the house. Storage right here. Napkins, plates, apples, more protein cookies. These are the best freaking cookies you could ever snack on on the road. High quality and protein. Storage right here, seasoning. Uh, sauces, protein shake, all that good stuff, peppers, all that stuff. This truck do have a double bunk. It's a double bunk. It's a, a memory foam. Um, I don't know. This it's not a memory foam mattress, but it's a, a memory foam like sponge kind of thing. What I buy, I buy this from Walmart for like actually like thirty dollars or so. So under here. Under here, I'm gonna open this thing right here. What I got under here, coconut water, Gatorade, water, naked, a lot of shoes, um, what's this, dog food, more dumbbells. This uh 25 pounds dumbbell and these are 15s right here. So I got a 50 pound barbell, I got 25 pound dumbbells and I got 15 pound dumbbells. I do try to work out every day. I have a fiber wall. Um fiber wear. Uh this is like a pot kind of thing. I could cook meats and stuff like that. I could, you know, fry even chicken if I want to. I have a rice cooker right there. I have a drill right there. My extension right there, which I do use sometimes. I have a a gallon water bottle which I do use when I while I work out I have a vacuum and I also have my three reflective triangle and over here on this side I have my straps oils coolant uh, fire extinguisher um, tire pressure gauge and stuff like that you know and this is my bed right here right here we have a lather right here which when I do get a driver, which that gonna be in about three weeks or so, my driver has orientation. So I will be teaming this truck right here. He will be sleeping up here. I do have a workout bench in here. I'm about to actually take this bench out sometime today. You know, this is like my teddy bear that, you know, remind me of my son. That's why I take that with me. That's of course my dog. I do have a dog. You know, I have a lot, a black lab. Do come on the truck with me my pillows and stuff like that so yeah man ain't nothing really fancy i do keep my truck nice and clean like i said before i have uh, my carpet i have to go home and wash that carpet i gotta go wash that i lay that out right here and i also have um you know my driver and my passenger carpet too and i also have seat covers because you know i got a dog so i always try to you know i'm trying to keep my seats nice and clean but, but yeah, man, it's hot as freaking hell in Orlando. That's what we got today. I'm actually about to, you know, clean these panels down. And um, yeah, man, if you make it this far in this freaking video, please, man, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. And hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you get this freaking video because I'm about to start posting every freaking day. Road, road to a thousand subscribers, man. Help me get there, man.